a dream I know Deep up my feelings for you all right, my wonderful people, welcome back to Reality Letters GC, your home of news and politics. Thank you so much for joining us on today's wonderful news. The headlines Governor Gordon Obasiki said he don't want to be remembered for his fights. Hey, hey, my photo be small while out. What we know after this? We have Governor Gordon Obasiki have settled over 20 years' rare dispute in Edo community. But guys, before I bring the main gist, I would like to welcome all my amazing subscribers and viewers and those that are joining us on today's news for the very first time. You guys are highly welcome. Thank you so much for joining. But if you haven't subscribed, please kindly proceed and subscribe, like, comment, share, but don't forget to turn the notification bell to get notified whenever we drop our video. So guys, let's dive into the main gist. The Edo State Governor Godwin Obasiki said he will not want to be remembered for his many fights. Governor Godwin Obasiki said this on Friday while answering questions from newsmen after he commissioned the airport road parks and garden in Bini City, the state capital. When he was asked how he would like to be remembered after his tenure, he said certainly not for the fights. Apparently, he was referring to the many political battles he had fought against his political opponents and benefactors. So the governor disclosed that plans have been made to ensure the sustainability of the garden, which is expected to attract residents on a daily basis. He said when he thought about all these public spaces and how to manage them, he created a revenue model to support them. Governor Gondor Basik said, for instance, all the revenue from billboards around Edo State will come into managing. And Prestige Hotel will also support the park. The military has also promised him that they are going to support in terms of security. So he believed in first doing the work before celebrating, they will try to commission as much as they can because he don't think they will be commissioning as much as 10% of what they have done. And that is why the people came out and vote for them. So right now, my people, Governor Governor Basiki felt appreciated because the response from their people is quite commendable. And no wonder people came out and vote for them the way they did. So he said he can't be tired of saying thank you to them for the opportunity to serve them. The governor-elect Senate Obolo will be sworn in on November 12th putting an end to Governor Godun Obasiki's 8-year reign. So Governor Godun Obasiki wants to settle all the disputes he has on ground before leaving office because he said he don't want to be remembered for his many fights. So with his words, he was definitely referring to the political battles he had fought against his political opponents and benefactors. So guys, I would like to know your thoughts. Your contributions, your opinions are in our comment section. We'd love to hear from you. Let's keep the conversation lively in our comment section. Once again, thank you so much for staying to us. Moving on to the next one. Edo State Governor Mr. Godino Basiki has finally presented staff of office to the newly crowned Adinoge of South Iwe Kingdom, Isakon West Local Government Area, Edo State, Umoro Unusa Umoro. I mean, the pomp and pageantries. So the development has restored peace and tranquility to the community after over 25 years of legal to sell by two ruling families. So speaking during the presentation ceremony held on October at Ohukizu Primary School, Iyakbe, South Ibe Kingdom, Isakon, West Council, Edo State, Obaseki, who was represented by the Commissioner for Local Government and Chief Tenshi Affairs, Mondo Sabovo, said that Edo state government has no choice than to obey the Supreme Court judgment to install Umuru as the king of South Iwe Kingdom in line with the applicable traditions, custom, court decision, and status. What was about said that Governor Godno Basegi has respect for rule of law. So the people of South Iwe has to obey the Supreme Court judgment. And people the dispute over the throne had dated back to more than two decades ago in 1997 when the office of the Adonogi of South Ibai became vacant following the demise of Adonogi of South Ibai, IMJ Umuru. The Adonogi of South Ibai is the apex traditional ruler, clan of head of South Ibai. So in that South Ibai, there is only one ruling house, the Ohoho ruling house. So the said ruling house has two branches, the Ohigeto and the Danisi branches. Umuru is one of the Ohito branch of the ruling house by age-long tradition, the
the title of the Adonoji of South Ibai is rotated among the two branches of the ruling house. So the occasion which radiated show of love, support and opportunities accepted from the people had in attendance Independent Petroleum Marketers Association of Nigeria, Ador Baba Sadeyu, Dr. Lois Adams, Barista Pasca Ugbome, Chairman Issa West Local Government, Muzo Marvelous and so many other persons. So the governor charged the monarch to use his good position to promote peace, tranquility and ensure participation of his subject towards the progress of the community and policies of the government. He also called on the monarch to ensure that he makes use of his God-given wisdom, talent, wealth to build bridges of understanding and for promotion of peace and harmony, reconciliation among the diverse groups in the community. To the people of South Ibe Kingdom, Governor Gordon Obasigi also urged all of them to support the new head clan wholeheartedly and it is his fervent belief that together they can advance the development and growth of Edo State. Earlier, Osarode Noje, the Secretary to the State Government of Edo State in his statement titled Traditional Rulers and Chief Edict 1979, maintained that appointment of His Royal Highness Umuru as the Adonoje of South Ibai in East Akon West local government area by Section 191 of the Traditional Rulers and Chief Edict 1979 and by virtue of all other laws enabling them in the Executive Council of Edo State of Nigeria has approved the appointment of Umuru with effects from the date of Supreme Court judgment. Osababu in his address also said that the presentation of staff of office to Umuru today is a historical event in the climax of the series of traditional ceremonies to mark the ascension to the reverend throne of Adonoje of Satibai by Umuru after titanic fiance Lega battles. So he joined the peace-loving people of Satibai community to congratulate His Royal Highness on this landmark event because to him it was his sincere hope and desire that all hands would be on deck to bring about the much-needed progress and development to the Satibai community in line with the vision, program and policy of Edo State government. So he wants to employ the good people of Edo State and the hard-working people of Satibai community to support and rally around the clan head to enable him effectively discharge his royal duty. That governments will not tolerate any act that is capable of undermining the peace and tranquility in Satibai community. So they should therefore be fair and firm in taking decisions affecting their subject. Notwithstanding, they should also live peacefully with their neighbors because government alone cannot provide all the needed infrastructure development. So right now, collaborative effort is required to actualize the desired development. As we speak, His Royal Highness have also assured the good people of South Ibarra Kingdom that he will serve with wisdom and integrity and he will be receptive to the positive ideas and more importantly, remain resolute in representing the transition, which the people have upheld with focus, strength and courage over the years. So I guess I would like to know your thoughts, your contributions, your opinions and our comment section. I would love to hear from you once again. Thank you so much for staying to us. On this note, we have come to the end of today's segment. Like, comment, your words. Bye for now.